As usual, in 2021 the true face of comfortable luxury keeps wearing a star logo. The upcoming model here introduces an all-new Mercedes-Benz flagship, a much more numerous selection within the EQ electric sub-brands, EQBoost hybrid engines and the largest MBUX infotainments to date. We welcome you to discover the newest German automotive masterpieces. So subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and let's start the engines. Mercedes-Benz S-Class Once you go S-Class, you never go back, meaning that 80% of buyers will stick with the model for their next purchase. In 2021, these hardest-to-please customers are being given an opportunity to experience the new generation of luxury when the posh meets the high-tech. A refreshed lineup of powertrains includes mild hybrid 3-liter inline-six gasolines with the EQBoost function, 2.9-liter diesels, a 4-liter V8 gasoline, and an upcoming plug-in hybrid with a 60 miles electric range. There are standard and long wheelbase, rear-wheel drive and formatic all-wheel drive configurations. Plus, the newcomer introduces the next-generation rear axle steering system. The 2021 Mercedes S-Class gets the second-generation OLED 12.8-inch MBUX infotainment and 12.3-inch driver display. The car can basically read your mind with interior cameras. There are 10 different massage functions and new driver assistance stack with the level 3 conditionally automated mode. Mercedes-Benz EQA as Mercedes' electrification is gaining the momentum, the company is lifting the veil of secrecy from their smallest fully electric crossover. In terms of size and shape, the EQA is pretty similar to the GLA IC sibling, but arguably it has a more modern and attractive exterior with a closed-off grille, LED light strips and headlights. Inside, the cabin remains pretty familiar, but for the watt meter and a few EQ-specific screens of the MBUX infotainment. Initially, the model will go on sale in Europe as a front-wheel drive crossover powered by a 187 HP asynchronous motor and a 66.5 kWh Accumotive battery with 300 WLTP miles. Later, Mercedes plans to add an all-wheel drive model with 270 HP that will likely be launched in the US as well. Smash the like button and once you are done watching this video, consider reviewing the entire playlist about the 2021 car lineups. The links are in the description. Let's proceed. Mercedes EQV In the Mercedes IC lineup, this van is known under many names – V-Class, Vito, Viano and Mattress in case of North America. However, when it comes to electrifying the model, the company decided to draw a distinction between these monikers, launching to the market two separate EVs, a luxury-focused top-of-the-line EQV and a more modest EV2 Tourer. The former offers two wheelbase lengths and three layouts, seating from six to eight passengers and three equipment levels. All come powered by a setup of one electric motor and a 90 kWh water-cooled battery that packs 260 miles of range and can be charged at 110 kW. The MPV offers plenty of head and legroom inside the comfy cabin that is equipped with a 10.25-inch MBUX and lots of standard safety features. In addition, you can opt for an air suspension, electric front seats and high-end audio from Burmeister. Mercedes Maybach S-Class Have you mastered the art of living? Well, as per the marketing department at Mercedes-Benz, unless you're an owner-passenger of a Maybach, no you haven't. The 2021 S580 by this ultra-luxury sub-brand is 7 inches longer than the long wheelbase version of the S-Class. The total 215.3 inches of length are focused on the rear cabin comfort and true limo road presence. This machine is crafted rather than built, so the exterior finish takes days to be hand-painted and the wheels designs are also exclusive. The 4.0-liter V8 engine was enhanced with the EQ Boost to make proper 496 horses. 
4MATIC all-wheel drive, rear-wheel steering and 9G Tronic Automatic are all standard. Further highlights include electronically controlled comfort rear doors, 30-speaker Burmeister audio, air suspension and an active sound cancellation system. Finally, the sedan must be had with the optional executive rear seat plus package and Maybach branded champagne flutes. Mercedes EQC 4x4 To strengthen the image and overall potential of electric off-road vehicles which will inevitably hit the market in the nearest future, Mercedes-Benz engineers transformed the regular Mercedes-Benz EQC 400 formatic into this all-train warrior. Most of the attention was dedicated to the chassis, as the EQC 4x4 concept has 11.5 inches of ground clearance, while its approach and departure angles are increased to over 30 degrees. The black wheel arches are significantly extended to fit larger 20-inch wheels wrapped in Cooper Zeon LTC all-season tires. Instead of the humble or low-required external noise generator, the EQC 4x4 project gets a unique sound system where the speakers are hidden in the headlamps and have more crunch. The four-wheel drive function is performed by two electric motors on each axle that together produce 402 horsepower and 564 pound-feet of torque. Smart EQ42 Edition Blue Dawn Developed in cooperation with Brabus, this year's Blue Dawn Edition for the smallest Smart EQ offers a middle ground between a regular model and a full-on Brabus conversion. The 42 Coupe gets new body panels, side skirts and rear apron in matte velvet blue, rides on 16-inch monoblock wheels and offers a couple of exclusive details inside the cabin. The seats get embroidered with the Edition Blue Dawn inscription. There are Brabus black velour floor mats, and the shift lever knob also comes from their catalog. In addition, it gets standard seats heating, cool and audio package, and digital radio. As usual, the mini car is motivated by an 82 HP motor and a 17.9 kWh battery with 99 miles of range. Mercedes-Benz EQS A new benchmark of luxury within the zero emission segment is rumored for the unveil in April of 2021, and supposedly it will be tech richer than the internal combustion counterpart. The absence of an engine up front calls for a more arched design, which transitions to the sloping roofline in the back and creates a four-door coupe silhouette closely resembling the Vision EQS concept. The new branch of the EQ family is likely to obtain a two-motor all-wheel drive powertrain with a total output of 469 horses, 560 pound-feet and 4.5 seconds 0-60 to acceleration. The Acumotive battery subsidiary has developed a pack with 435 WLTP miles of range and 20 minutes recharge time to 80% capacity. Furthermore, the Mercedes EQS is definitely getting holographic headlights, full-width brake lights, the largest to date hyperscreen MBUX infotainment system, rear wheel steering, and level 3 autonomous driver assistance. Mercedes Mattress and EV Tour Tour The current generation Vito AK Mattress Van becomes more attractive in 2021 sporting a fresher face, available 9G Tronic gearbox for all IC versions, and a passenger EV to tour configuration for the European market. All of the models get a new radiator grille that can be highlighted by black loafers or chrome details, while the EV fan gets distinguished by subtle blue headlight elements and a charging flap located up front. The EV to tour comes part by the same drive system as its EQV luxury sibling, so you can expect up to 261 miles of driving and DC charging capability. Aimed at fleet, shuttle and taxi customers, the model squeezes in 9 passenger seats, features cheaper interior materials and gets either DB radio with Bluetooth or a 7-inch touchscreen as a paid option.
Mercedes e Sprinter. In order to make the electric Sprinter more attractive for a variety of customers, Mercedes Benz invested more than $400 million into the all new electric versatility platform. Developed specifically for the large van segment, this innovative architecture consists of three core modules that will allow the eSprinter to have almost limitless body configurations, from passenger vans and grocery transporters to flatbed trucks and ambulances. No specifications of the model are detailed at this time, except for the three battery capacities, two body lengths, and multiple cabin configurations. Logically, the next generation will offer more than the current eSprinter panel van with its 55 kWh battery and 105 miles of range, especially so after its arrival to the US has been confirmed. Make sure to vote in the comment section which one of the premium German brands deserves to be called the pinnacle of automotive luxury – Mercedes, BMW, Audi or Porsche. Mention your favorite models from the 2021 lineup and subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the upcoming episodes about the new Mercedes-AMG cars. Like, share and come back soon!